Welcome guys. In this video, we're going to be learning how to apply fill and stroke in After Effects, okay? In previous video, we've learned how to create shapes, um, but it's time we learn how to add strokes and how to manipulate strokes, okay? And these strokes can help later when we start to do complex animation, okay? So you sit tight and let us begin. So in the previous video we did a simple animation all right it looked complex but i broke it down and i showed you what we did and we did it together okay but on this video we are going to be studying on another important concept all right fill and stroke i know we've done a lot of fill and stroke learned how to create and modify shapes all right but now it's time to look how we can apply um strokes and even color in other forms all right so so as to make our design more interesting okay so i'll be demonstrating to you how you can apply a variety of fill and stroke effects to your shape in this video so the first thing is our simple fill okay our simple fill while we are working on this project is that i want to make you see how this um strokes can make your work more beautiful so we are going to improve on what we did the last time okay despite the fact that it's looking different so i'm going to explain all of that to you but let's start from our feel okay so i'm i'm creating a new composition okay so we have our shape here we have our shape here so how did we get here how did we get um our gradient to appear on our shape okay what we simply do is that we click on this fill option okay i showed you on the previous video but we're going to look in depth okay click on this fill option you find four different options here first is the none all right you don't want a fill on it and we used it on the previous video second is when you want a solid color third is when you want a gradient okay and fourth is when you want a circular gradient okay if you have used photoshop this should not be a problem for you okay if you have any problem you want to download the course file like i said this is um course file six is right there in the folder so you probably want to look at it okay and we have our fields here so this can make your work more interesting if you know how to tweak gradients okay so that's for gradient and how can we adjust the color how can we adjust the color so here's what we do here's what we do so immediately you had a field that is not the solid field an option we appear right beneath your shape okay we have a shape here if we click below we have two options here like i told you i was going to teach you about this first option we have been using just the transform okay every shape has their own um properties okay and we can find them right here in this content okay if you want to go in depth on on the properties of a shape and there are options you'll find here okay first you have the uh, um eclipse part that's the shape itself the circle so we have the stroke here we have the gradient feel so we can adjust it from here just from here we can adjust it so there are many options but i want you to just focus on what I, i'm going to show you okay so if we move down here to our colors okay to show you edit gradient so when you click on it you find same functions you have in photoshop or any other design software okay we have it here to find our gradient same thing same concept you can add more more colors okay you can add more colors you can add more colors to it okay so seeing it is not looking very interesting but we can tweak it we can tweak it we can tweak it we can tweak it there are many many parameters here to tweak this thing okay we have our end point taking it to where the gradient is going to end okay this helps you to rotate it okay starting point enlarging this makes it more interesting okay from here you can change the type of grenade to either linear or radar okay now it's on it's on linear is on radar rather so these um, parameters can be used to tweak our gradient okay can be used to tweak our gradient so we can make it more interesting 
make it um less opaque or more opaque okay so there are different font things we can add okay different font things we can add to our gradient different font things so let me just change it back to a linear gradient linear gradient so that's it for gradients okay that is for good but remember you won't find it um easy to edit just like we have our normal solid fill all right you have to come to the content over here okay so take note of that so that's for the gradient all right if you tweak gradients you can get really awesome motion graphics going on okay so we have um our stroke here like i said stroke is not very difficult to use same concept you can click here and cancel your stroke you can add a a, a, a stroke with a gradient okay you can add the stroke with the gradient it makes your design more interesting the same thing we can come here come here any effect we add at all is going to appear here because so you can see that we just added the gradient stroke it appeared here so we can work on it okay we can work on it so i'll just increase the size here you see it makes it um, more interesting okay so there are many things you can do with it there are many things you can do with it so i'll just go back to our strokes to our strokes so there are way we can edit the strokes there are way we can edit the strokes looking at our gogo -Go animation um what i did here was that i just tweaked it i changed the background from white to um gray all right and i changed our text to white okay so every other thing remained the same so what i want to do here is to change some of our circles to dotted lines all right we are still working on the stroke so what we would likely do is to click on the object then we'll go to content we'll go to eclipse we'll go to stroke okay we'll go to stroke so going to stroke we have a lot of menus but i'll just move down to the dashes okay I'll move down to the dashes move down to the dashes where we can add dashes okay we'll just add and something you can just do is to just press that plus button then it add um, dashes by itself okay here you can adjust the setting you can increase the gap between the gash, dashes okay if i increase the, the gaps you can see what is happening here okay so it depends on what you want to do it depends on what you want to do so i'll just take it back i'm okay with this and i'll just maybe not for all i can just adjust that of the that of the the red okay let's just adjust that of the red okay so you can see it will make our design look more interesting same place i'm going to the same place i have my stroke here so i'm adding dashes okay so let's just let's just adjust this let's just adjust this okay adjust this we increase the gap between the dashes increase the gap okay so let's see let's see what we've done let's see what we've done if it made our design interesting or not okay wow hope you can see it made our design more interesting so you can see what um um strokes can do adding multiple effects to your stroke and we can even do something more interesting by rotating our red all right we can just rotate this from the beginning of the animation to the end we can just have it rotate okay so let's just apply it we want it to rotate from the beginning to the end and we can set it to the angle okay okay so let's check it out 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 okay oh okay i think our anchor point is having an issue so we'll likely fix our anchor point before we do that okay so let's fix our anchor point let's fix our anchor point there's our red okay let's fix our anchor point 
things are the middle now and what we do is to just apply our rotation okay so let's apply it again apply it again okay work on our anchor point again work on our anchor point again okay okay so let's see what we have let's see what we have so at the end of the day we are going to have a very beautiful animation just by adding strokes you see what we have so there are many things you can do there are many tweaks you can do to get your animation moving okay so this is all for this tutorial all right this is all for this tutorial find the project file look through it and get to understand what we did more all right So guys, that's it for this video. I believe you were able to learn how to manipulate um, strokes, how to apply fill, even gradients to your shape. Much later, this is going to be handy, okay? So you just want to keep it in your pocket. When we need it, we're going to use it, okay? And uh, we are moving on. On our next video, we're going to be studying about effects and presets in After Effects, okay? So you do well to share this video, like, and also if you've not subscribed, Please do so. See you in our next video.